this is Katie Larson with the Alliance for the Great Lakes. Welcome to Homeschool, where we're learning why the Great Lakes are so great. The Great Lakes are the largest freshwater system in the world. The Great Lakes watershed, the land around the Great Lakes, is home to nearly 40 million people who use the Great Lakes for drinking water, recreation, industry, agriculture, and more. Unfortunately, some human activities can harm the Great Lakes. Over the past 50 years, industrial pollution has decreased in many communities while the pollution from agricultural and urban runoff has increased. Runoff happens when rain falls or snow melts. Sometimes the water infiltrates into the ground, but other times it moves or runs over the land and other surfaces. As the water droplets move, they pick up pollutants along the way and eventually dump them into storm drains, rivers, and lakes. So what we do on the land often ends up in the water. What types of pollutants are on the ground? Fertilizers and pesticides from agricultural lands and homeowners, oil, gas, and salt on our highways, animal waste, and the litter that humans leave behind. Today, you're going to learn about plastic pollution from my friend and colleague, Nate Drag, who has studied the plastic in our communities, our beaches, and our water. Thanks, Katie. Hi, everyone. I'm Nate Drag. I've spent my whole life working and playing on Lake Erie. When I was in high school, I was a lifeguard on Lake Erie beaches. As an adult, I worked on a schooner and taught kids about the Great Lakes. And now, I love working for the Alliance to protect the lakes from pollution and invasive species. One form of pollution is plastic pollution. Plastic seems to be everywhere, and we use it all the time. But some plastic items, like plastic straws and plastic caps, are only used for a couple minutes before they get thrown out or they end up in the environment. Once they're in the environment, they can be there for hundreds of years and turn into tiny pieces of plastic called microplastic. These tiny pieces of plastic can get eaten by fish and birds in the Great Lakes who accidentally think that they're food. They can also get tangled up in bigger pieces of plastic. My family and I want to protect the birds and fish of the Great Lakes that call them home. So one week in November, we bring a reusable coffee mug and a reusable shopping bag to reduce our plastic use. We also like to participate in Adopt a Beach, where we pick up trash on the beach and write down what we find. A lot of the trash on Great Lakes beach, beaches is plastic, almost 90%. I found this plastic pollution at a beach near my home, so I decided to turn this trash into art. Can anyone tell me what type of bird this is? How about that little guy? Wow, thanks Nate. The great blue heron is my favorite bird. Thanks for cleaning up our beaches and doing your part to protect the Great Lakes. I want each of you to think about how you can help keep the Great Lakes great.